Hello, beloved Facebook animals. I hope that you've had as beautiful a Sunday as I have. I'm in Boulder, Colorado for the Shadow Work Advanced Facilitation Training and it's a glorious day. It's so pretty here and I'm so grateful because tomorrow it's supposed to be um, pretty cold and snowy. So um, soaking up the sunshine today and uh, really happy to have had this incredible training day and working with my own shadows and other shadows and learning some really cool tools and, uh, and getting to bring you all this meditation at the end of the day. So hello, hello, hi Sarah, hi Laura. Good to see your names. So this is kind of fun. The first card that I pulled is the card that came up for last week, the swan. So if you haven't tuned into the swan meditation already, I invite you to check that one out. It's easy to find on my Facebook or um, it's up on YouTube. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna kind of pull swan energy in again since it showed up two weeks in a row for us. And then the card that came in today is the oyster. And this is actually the card on, um, on New Year's this year. I, uh, I pulled a card for the year for myself. And this was the animal that came up for my year. So it's really special to see this again and uh, just be feeling into um, since, you know, 10 months ago where, uh, almost, well, almost, yeah, it's been 10 full months, like what, what, how has this showed up in, um, in my life? How have I been coming more into relationship with the oyster? So we'll go into the journey with these animals that have come forward for us today. Go ahead and lower your eyes and come into your breath. And just sort of find that stillness for a moment of just dropping into your body whatever you've been working on today, whatever you are checking out on Facebook, staying connected to people, whatever that was like for you, just in this moment really come inward. And as you breathe, bring your awareness for a moment into your heart. And feel that behind your heart right now, and you can even put your hands on your heart if that's helpful for you. And just feel at the back of your heart is a beautiful, powerful swan, this animal totem for creativity and grace and ease and light. And the swan is behind your heart just supporting you right now as you come into deeper contact with oyster. And so now, if swan is at the back of your heart, I want you to envision that you can even hold your hands just in front of your heart. Again, if that's helpful for you, you don't have to, but you can just envision that there's an oyster that you're holding in your hands is another water creature, both having to do with water, these two animals and is feel that eat as different as oysters are from humans, you know, they so many things are different. They don't have faces like we do. They don't really have a language or make sound that, that maybe we, we can comprehend. They're living in the water. We live in the air. Many differences, but just feel right now that there's a 
there's a presence to this oyster that you're holding. There's a, a power and a presence and an energy field around this living being that's coming present to be in relationship with you right now. And as you picture that outer shell, know that what's inside the shell is in fact darkness. That it's, you know, there's no light inside the oyster. It's, it actually is the space of the shadow and within that space of darkness and shadow, is something so beautiful and and so revered and and honored and sought after it's it's the pearl within that darkness that beautiful light precious object that we love you know hu humans love pearls it's a thing. I love pearls. <laughs> My mom loves pearls. There's such a precious part of, of us getting to live life in the world and witness something that this other animal is making in their bodies. And the way that pearls form, as we know, it's like this little bit of you could think of it as like a little bit of imperfection gets inside, a little bit of sand gets inside this dark space. And then what that is transformed into in that darkness, in that shadow, there can be transformation. And so I want you to feel now, where in your body would you like to bring this power animal and make connections? So perhaps it's at, you know, one of your kind of energy centers, one of your main chakras, or maybe it's someplace else in your body. Maybe you've been having pain somewhere in your body or other sensations, and you'd like to just bring this energy up into. So I'm just going to bring this up into my third eye. That's what's feeling right for me right now. And just feel that, breathe into it and feel it kind of merging in with your energy and coming into you. And then feel within yourself, wherever you've brought this energy to, what is your pearl about? And really that question is around, you know, so last week we connected with the swan and this creativity and, you know, what you're going to make. And the pearl of the oyster is really about like, what are you going to show to the world from this creativity, from this place within that what is wanting to be seen? What does that look like to actually, you know, instead of kind of retracting and keeping the pearl in the shadows and in the darkness and keeping it within, which is so easy to do, what does it look like to actually bring that forward and let it be witnessed by others? So just breathe into that question and feel your pearl. And what does it represent? And as you come into connection with what this what this is, this part of you that may be ready to, to step out more and be seen in a different way, in a bigger way. 
What's the risk of that? Come into contact with some of that shadow for a moment. What would be at risk for you to really, really let this be seen? And then just feel into like, given that risk and given the opportunity of what it would be like to show your pearl to the world, are you willing to take that risk? You know, and just feel in like, it may be too big of a risk right now, but maybe there's some steps you could take to move towards that feeling safe for you, feeling good for you. And, and maybe right now, you know, yeah, it's worth that risk. You're ready. And just acknowledging some of that shadow behind the pearl, you know, all of that, all of that darkness that we contain, that's such a beautiful part. That's how we can know our light. You know, I, I am so in into this theory right now. I'm just going to keep saying that. <laughs> it's so important to honor those parts of ourselves and the part that's afraid. Like, shit, I don't want to show this pearl to anybody. You know, what if they reject it? What if they shame it? What if it's not a big enough pearl or it's not bright enough or it's a funny shape? You know, all of that can be present. And we can choose to show the pearl anyway. So just breathe into like the possibility of that. Like, oh wow, yeah, that could be possible. And you know, as you're contemplating all this, again, just feel the support of the swan behind you, this big, powerful bird at the back of your heart, and just feel for a moment that flow of love coming into the back of your heart, this emerald green light flowing from the swan's heart into your heart, and just filling you up. And breathe into that, receive that love, that energy. And you can thank the swan and thank the oyster, however you'd like, whatever feels right for you. Thank you. Thank you, swan. And then you can come back, open your eyes back up. Mwah. Thank you so much for coming on this journey. And um, hi, Eric. Hi, Michael. Good to see you guys. Thanks for tuning in. And just sending you all so much love. Thank you for being in my circle, for knowing me, for supporting me on this journey. I know so many of you are holding um, this week, my experience and your heart. So really deeply thank you for that. And I will see you next Sunday. I wonder what that animal is going to be. And, um, yeah, until then just have a, have a wonderful week. Uh, please, I, if you know, as always, I love to hear comments and, uh, how this was for you. If anything came up that you'd like to share, and um, share it with a friend, like it, all that jazz. If you're on YouTube, find me over on Facebook. Thank you, thank you. Lots of love. Good night. <laughs>